Today we're going to be installing a bed lift kit by Hatch Lift onto my Coachman Freedom Express 254 DSX. Just taken the trailer out of storage and now I'm ready to install the Hatch Lift kit. So you see this lifts up here. Some of the trailers come with the uh, gas shocks already installed. This one didn't. So whenever I want to get anything out of here, I have to hold this up, gather the stuff, take it out, drop it. Uh, a lot of times it's just easier when you have two people to do it. So we do this. It should be a matter of just lifting it up. It goes up, stays up on its own, and we lift it down. So we're going to get to work on that now. In order to get the right size of kit, you need to measure this space from here to here. I measured it to be 26 inches and then you go to the website and there's a sizing chart. Now the sizing chart is also on the back of the box. So it shows the different sizes of beds, the different sizes of their openings. Mine fits under small compartment beds, 24 to 30 inch opening. As I said mine was 26 so it falls under there. Just go to Amazon, order it, uh, again, it's bed lift kit, and it's made by Hatch Lift. So, what comes with the kit? We have two gas struts. I believe they're 70 pound. All the hardware for installing it. A couple of handy blocks that are going to be required uh, inside, so it's kind of nice that they actually supply you with those so you don't have to cut them. You need two of those, they're going to attach to the uh, top of the uh, inside of the opening. And here's the instructions uh, 13 steps for installing it. Again, it starts with the sizing and everything. We've already got that all taken care of. And just some advertising for it. And that's it. So let's get started. So step one is to measure back from here 16 inches. There's 16 inches. this side and that 16 inches will be the center mark to where this bracket is going to go. So you see this bracket goes on like this we need some support down there. So here's where you actually have to cut your own wood. So I went and cut some pieces. It was 17 and a half inches high and need to put these pieces in here, just some 2 by 4 I want them to be good and snug so they provide good support. In there. That will be good there for my uh, good and stable, or actually it goes this way. That screw down like that should be good and stable. Do that to the other side now. pre-drill some holes here. You want to make sure the uh, top ones are on the wood that's already in the trailer and the bottom ones go into the 2x4 that was just put in. out the bit and put just two of the screws in for now.
There. Then we'll do that to the other side. The next step is to temporarily attach these brackets that are going to be going on the top of the opening. Just two screws they suggest at this point. I'm going to pre-drill drill a couple holes. Now it says attach the rod end of the spring to the lower bracket. So it's the rod end of the spring to the lower bracket. It's on. Attach the cylinder end of the spring to the ball stud on the bracket block assemblies and rotate assemblies into position against the bottom of both sides of the bed. So, and this will go on like that. that. Now we gotta move this bed. <sighs> so according to these instructions, the front of this opening should be 35 inches up. So 35 inches is right about there. That should go on something like that. Not be in the way. So let's mark that like that. So the next step is to install these wood blocks where I marked them off with the provided gold screws. Eventually we're going to be gluing these down, but we're just uh, doing this right now, setting it up to see if everything works. And if everything works, then in the end we'll glue it down. Just to make sure, I just want to measure these off, see if they're at the same distance, three and a half inches. Three inches. Let's move that down a little bit to three and a half. Make them the same. Three and a half. Three and a half, okay. And I'm going to screw them into place where they are right now. And there we go. Now we'll attach the struts and see if we can close this thing. Good so far. Here we go. Beautiful. Now it pops open quite easy right now. I'm hoping with the bed on it and the covers and stuff that that'll be enough weight to hold it down. But this is set. And it's done the way it's supposed to be. But now what I gotta do in the lower brackets, I need to put the rest of the screws in. In the upper brackets, I'm going to take this apart, I'm going to glue the back of uh, each block, and I'm going to put it back together again. And we'll put the rest of these screws in. Pre drill them first. Now, the two holes left closest to the, uh, the nut here, they get left right now because I'm going to drill those straight through, and we have 
these long bolts to go right through to really secure it in place. So I'll do the other side. through from the top side. So flip this over. Let's clean these up a little bit. Okay. putting these through bolts on with a screwdriver and a 3 8 inch wrench. Right there. There we go. And it's good. Works out well. Now for the lower brackets here, we need to install a couple of these through bolts. It'll be in the center position and that position right there behind this arm so it doesn't get in the way of the arm because as you saw from the, the top bracket, the bolt does come out quite far. need to glue these ones. Let's put that out of the way. Okay. Now let's put these through. the uh, top. Obviously this uh, trim is a lot thicker. A couple of locking nuts on. Sides over here. Uh, 
Now let's see how it works. There we go. We'll put the bed on, see how it works at the end. And this is the end result of our bed lift kit installation. Just opens up nice and easy. We have access to everything right there. Beautiful. We're all done. I think it's a big success. This is my lovely assistant here who's helping me out with this project. Oh, oh dear. <laughs>